Hello and welcome to the University of Westminster. This is a short introductory video about Blackboard by Ron Anuar, and I'm part of the university's learning innovation and digital engagement team. Blackboard is the university's online teaching and learning environment, which helps support your normal day-to-day -day classes. Now then, to access Blackboard, in the address bar of your web browser, either Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, enter learning.westminster.ac.uk and hit return on your keyboard. Or you can simply click the Blackboard icon on our Student Hub webpage. When you find yourself on the login page, you will immediately see two sections. On the right hand side, you'll see links to download the Blackboard mobile app, which is available on either Android or Apple devices. And in the login section on the left hand side, you can log into Blackboard by entering your username, which is a W followed by seven numbers, then by entering your password, and then of course clicking sign in. Welcome to your first look at Blackboard. Firstly, focusing on the left hand side of the screen, this is the Ultra Base Navigation menu. It's a navigation feature that will allow you to quickly navigate to key areas around Blackboard. Do familiarize yourself with it as it will always be useful to you as you start or continue your studies with us. During this short introduction and via the base navigation menu, we'll be taking a look at the notice board, your Blackboard profile, the activity stream, modules and courses, the calendar, messages, and finally, marks. Now, starting at the top, let's take a look at the notice board. It includes lots of quick links for assignment submission instructions, IT help and support, Panopto, the university's online video recording and lecture capture platform, accessibility related guidance so you can access content in Blackboard in various formats, and I'll highlight our digital skills courses which can really enhance your employability. You can earn digital badges along the way by completing short courses and quizzes so you can dramatically increase your digital skills and capability. You can also sign up and have the opportunity to be certified as a Microsoft Certified Specialist or an Adobe Certified Professional, but why not take both? Take the time to fully explore the available links in the notice board to help you make the most of your time while studying here with us. Next up, your Blackboard profile which you can access by clicking your name. It's useful to get familiar with this page because it's where you'll be able to change your Blackboard notification and email preferences. Next up, the activity stream. This is where you'll see all module related activity that's happened from across all the modules you're enrolled on. The types of notifications will include announcements, messages and posts from your teaching team and notifications about newly added content and assessment deadlines. The activity stream is great for navigation too, as you can click on an activity notification and go directly to the module page where something new has been added. Use this page to keep up to date with everything that's happening from across all your modules, so you're not caught by surprise by any new content and information. Next, modules and courses is where you can access all the modules you are formally enrolled on. You can also favorite modules by clicking their star icons. This will make them appear at the top of the Modules and Courses page, so you can access them quicker. And note, when you click on a module, it will open up on top of the Ultra Base navigation menu, and you can close it by clicking the pink cross in the top left-hand corner of the page. Please also be mindful of the filter and search options. They're very useful if you have a long list of modules. Next, the calendar. By using the calendar, you'll see approaching assignment due dates from across all your modules. You can also create your own reminders to plan ahead, which can help you achieve your learning goals. Next, in Messages, you'll be able to navigate to specific modules and read the messages sent by your teaching team. They can be important, so make sure you double check any unread messages. And lastly, we'll touch on Marks. This is where you'll be able to see the recent grades from across all your modules. And if you click on View All Work, the gradebook of that particular module will open and you will be able to see a list of your grades and access your feedback. 